I'm ready, Freddy. I'm ready to get some shrimp. Yellow jack. There he goes. Oh, nice. All right, so uh, Coach Vic and I have been uh, discussing this backrest. Now, this is the Hoffnell backrest. Um, as you know, I had to little modify this little bit down here, which which didn't affect anything. This is all fine. This this piece is working exceptionally well. What's happened is this bracket that goes up through the seat, it appears that it's bent backwards a little bit. Uh, I don't know if it's due to me leaning on it. All of Coach Bob's muscles push it back on it. Or if it's Coach Vic pulling on no, it. No, I'm not. Or me pushing and you pulling at the same time. I don't mess with this seat. I don't know. <laughs> Apparently I did it. It could have been me leaning you back go too like hard. That. Could have been. Your little snuggle push back. Could have been. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to disassemble this whole thing and probably heat that bracket up and bend it. And hopefully that doesn't weaken that bracket too much. I may have to see if I can order a replacement bracket. He has Hoffman. another YouTube video to make. Oof. Replacing the back bracket on the back rest. One of the things that uh, Coach Vic and I were talking about, it's very frustrating, is we have to modify a lot of things anyway. And so it's always frustrating when you have to remodify your modification. <laughs> what was that all about? Is it Mickey Mouse or your hand things? <laughs> it is what it is. It be what it be. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Jordan, how you doing? You can take, you leave my purse in the trunk. I can leave your purse in the trunk? Yeah. Hey, Ophie. How you doing? That's our neighbors over there. Cause it's cold outside. How fast was I? 30 seconds. Oh, man. <laughs> Your record's 29, you're a second off. Check my messages here. I might have a YouTube notification. Oh, my goodness. Do you have one? Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, who? Well, a couple of subscribers. You got some more subscribers? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but I put it. You put it, in a, in, you put it on my side. Oh, it's on the wrong side? I knew I'd, I knew I'd get something wrong. <laughs> No, you oh. did it right. Your face shield sure is, dude. I know. You should have cleaned it. You're slacking. You're slacking on your job. What's hard? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Honey pumpkin? Jacket. Pretty? Your hair's pretty? What camera? What you talking about? There ain't no cameras running. I look. <laughs> <laughs> As you say, you're getting all discombobulated. <laughs> okay, yeah, the uh, backrest feels like it's in the right place right there. You make me happy. You like pet milk. You make me happy. Okay, here we go. It's not. Okay, well, we'll have to go back and close it. Ta da! There it went. All right. You ever do that? You ever just uh, leave the house and forget to close your daggum garage door? Man, that's not good. I mean, we got more security cameras than Carter's has little liver pills, but my goodness, you don't want to leave it open. Then you have a picture of the guy stealing all your stuff. <laughs> Oh my, my. Oh, they're fixing their driveway. Looking nice. Doing the blocks. Got it all looking pretty. That looks good. Well, hello, friends. Uh, Coach Bob with you today, and Coach Vic and I are going to go get fresh. Oh, yes, we are. And by fresh, I do mean uh, fresh. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Uh, actually, by fresh, I mean we're going to the fresh market and we're going to go buy some, uh, some some lunch. I don't know if you noticed, uh, when I was getting on the bike, I'm a little more felt than I have been. Um, I am down, at this point, a little over 20 pounds. Yes, I had put on that much weight during the, uh, during the COVID crisis and uh, that's not a good thing. Um, it's, it's one of those things where you fight the old battle of the bulge a little bit and so I had to get serious about my physical regimen and it, it's been actually pretty easy it's been coming off I mean 
when I say pretty easy, I'm up at 5 o'clock every morning working out for almost an hour and 45 minutes. But <laughs> other than that, it's pretty easy. And with me coaching, it has me more uh, physically active in the afternoon. And that, that certainly makes it right. And then Coach Vic is helping me focus on my diet habits. So, yeah. Yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice. But anyway, we're going to head over to Fresh Market. It's a pretty cool place. Um, we like it a lot. We come over here occasionally for lunch. And by occasionally, I mean about, about once a week. So we'll share a little bit of our daily routine with us. I feel Coach Vic adjusting my, my jacket. I think my hood from my under sweatshirt is uh, beating her in the head. <laughs> uh, is, is my sweatshirt hitting you? Uh-huh. Yep. That's what I thought. My hoodie was hitting her in the head. All right. But it's a nice brisk day. It's uh, right now low 50s, high 40s. We are grateful to be able to ride this time of year. And, uh, you know, the fact that, that um, you know, we can pretty much ride 52 weeks a year. Our, our biggest hindrance is rain. Um, rain is always a big deal for us. We have really big rainy seasons that will stop you from riding. And we had a, over a week of solid rain and it was really frustrating. Also, we're going to be doing a giveaway here real soon. In fact, if you uh, look up there, bink, that's the glasses we're giving away. New pair of Shady Rays. They're on order right now. Uh, I, I bought a pair of those for me, and you, you've never seen me wear them. And that's because we were in California when I ordered them. And they got here, and my daughter saw them and loved them. And uh, <laughs> we'll just say she got a new pair of sunglasses. <laughs> Isn't it funny how that works? And then Coach Vic tells me I spoil them because, you know, and she goes, well, Dad, I'll, I'll, give them, I'll give them back to you if you really want. I'm like, they look great on you, and if you like them, keep them. I'll buy another pair. Don't worry about it. So I, I maybe I do spoil them a little bit. If you got them, spoil them, right? <laughs> I didn't spoil them when they were little. Now that they're responsible and adults, I like to spoil them a little more. If they would have asked for money when they were teenagers and I'd have given them 20 bucks, they'd look at me like, that's all? Now, <laughs> when they get ready to leave the house and you go, hey, got something for you. They come over to you. You hand them 20 bucks and say, hey, you guys go get you coffee and some bagels in the morning. Enjoy breakfast on dad. And they're like, oh my goodness, you're so sweet. You're such a wonderful father. <laughs> 20 bucks is good now that they ain't got no money. <laughs> it's funny to me. So Fresh Market, my goal over here is to buy the shrimp cocktail, if they have it. They often run out. They also have an olive bar over here. I love their olive bar. Really, really cool. So we're hoping to do all that. Also, I want to talk about Bike Week a little bit. We're planning on going to Bike Week, which is in the first week of March, basically. Uh, you can go online and just type in Daytona Bike Week 21, and it'll come right up. And you can look at the dates and start figuring out when you're going to go. But we are working right now on the web page. We've got a little web page, coachbob3.com. And uh, if you go to coachbob3.com, we're going to have an events page of where, when we're going to events. And uh, you know, we'll have, have the events. And then we'll on that page, we'll have some specifics of where we will do a meetup and possibly a ride. Uh, we would like to get a little group ride and ride the loop while we're there. The loop is beautiful. And it'd be a lot of fun to get, you know, half a dozen, dozen spiders together and ride the loop. It'd be nice. Coach Vic can't hear me. This helmet doesn't have a Bluetooth communicator on it. And I am going to buy another, uh, the, the set, not of Bluetooth communicators, but the, uh, the blanks, right, that have the uh, little bracket that they go in and has the microphone. I'm going to buy two more of those because I'm, I'm planning on buying uh, another helmet here soon. I know what you're saying. Coach Bob, another helmet? Uh, I'm thinking the Shoei Neotech or the um, AGV uh, modular helmet or possibly the Simpson modular helmet. I'm just concerned. I've heard some things about the Simpson. It might be a little noisy. The Mod Bandit. I mean, it looks cool. You look like, uh, look like a stormtrooper when you wear it. There we go, we're pulling that old trailer. <laughs> yeah. 
If you have any experience with that on the uh, noise aspect of it, feel free to leave a comment below. I'd, I'd love to hear your, your thoughts on it um, because I, I want to know if I should buy this or not. And it would certainly be nice as far as the price point. It's a lot less expensive than the Showy by about $300 for a plain color or $400 for a helmet that I would probably buy. <laughs> Because you know I rarely buy just a solid, I mean I got this little solid vlogging helmet that works out just fine. And then I'll have to uh, modify the front of it, make it a vlogging helmet as well for our road trips. And that way I can, I can talk to her and I can vlog at the same time. And that, that'd be a cool thing. Please don't do it. <laughs> Yeah, Coach Vic and I, we, we love riding, man. It, it, even if it's cool like this. She did uh, have uh, some bad dreams last night. She was say, waking up in the middle of the night going, I'm cold, I'm cold. <laughs> Just thinking about the ride this morning. We were going to be there an hour ago. But then we had, Coach Vic had some issues around the house. Uh, phone calls, important phone calls. She's ordering a new wheelchair, a few things. And, and then, you know, we get on here and then the seat doesn't look right to me uh, which frustrates me like I said I'm gonna have to probably heat that little bracket up and bend it and then then the question is how far do I bend it um, it's uh, it's it's a problem or do I just call Hopnell and say hey man this bracket bent um, do you have another bracket you could send me I don't know I don't know and do they sell, you know, just individual brackets? They probably don't. I think these things are made in China, just the way it is. You know, the, the other thing that I'm, I'm thinking about is maybe I could, if I, once I get it bent to the angle that I want, is uh, maybe having a uh, piece of support metal welded in there take it to a little welding shop and just grind it down, grind the spots off of it and say, hey, could you just weld me a little piece across here uh, that would keep that thing from ever bending again? Because if I can get a little cross bracket um, welded in there, I guarantee it won't bend then. I'm gonna show Coach Vic something here in a minute. Watch this right here. I'm gonna put it on sport. One, two, three, here we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. She likes that. <laughs> Look at her, she got her hands on my shoulders. <laughs> yep. It is a different feeling with that. That pedal commander is pretty sweet, y'all. Got a video coming out next weekend on uh, the question, some question and answers on the on the pedal commander. Um, I think you'll enjoy it. Can you feel the difference? Oh, that was fun. I wasn't really getting on it. I'm going to get on it this time. You feel that? Yeah. Compared to the other? Completely different. to state patrol there just ain't no way through ain't no way through yeah there is right here coach Vic wants me to show you some houses up here so we'll swing by through check them out um, I like these houses they're super expensive though man you would think they wouldn't be because they're like they look like boxes but they're cool looking. Wouldn't meet our needs very well. The uh, the old uh, stairway and real wheelchair friendly. I could get a rope, maybe pulley, pull Coach Vic up to the second floor. Yeah, see that right there? Those look pretty cool, don't they? Yeah, those are nice. Man, they are expensive. Yeah, relatively speaking. 
and we really wouldn't mind you know spending the money but the the whole idea of uh coach Vic not being able to use but half the house just doesn't seem doesn't seem very good <laughs> Coach Vic's giving me the high sign to go fast. We're gonna turn around here, get on out, back out the road. They all look the same. It's kind of a neighborhood design. They look cool, don't they? I like them. All right, here we go. Woo! I'll tell you what, that thing will get you going. <laughs> Coach Vic likes that, man. She likes that. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to get me a ticket, too, if the state patrol's out here, if I don't slow my butt down. I will tell you, that's the one thing about the pedal commander. It will uh, it will make you want to go faster, <laughs> which isn't necessarily a good thing. It's a fun thing, just not a good thing. This little part of town gets pretty busy. Yep, yep, yep. Nice, good looking Beamer there. <laughs> you know what I find weird? Most people that drive BMWs, they're pretty. They're just pretty people. I, I don't get it, I don't know. Does Bavarian Motor Works mean pretty? <laughs> How do you spell pretty? BMW? <laughs> Obviously, I don't drive a BMW. <laughs> I'll get on over here in front of this pretty person. Airplane, yeah. I remember working those guys, man. All right, here we go. And you can see the fresh market. All right, there, there's the little Tesla charging station and all that stuff. Turn right in here. Place gets pretty busy. But lunch rush should be over. This is another place. A lot of pretty people come over here. It's one of those places. You, know, you have places that pretty people go, and you have places that pretty people go. <laughs> they let me in because I got Coach Vic with me. She's pretty. That was fun. The one that cold. Yeah, I've gotten more tolerable of the cold. Of course. Yeah. Uh, I have to cut that little joke out. I made an inappropriate joke. You never. Why you take your sunglasses off your chuck wagon? So you take my helmet off. She hates it when I call her chuck wagon. In the right chuck wagon. Yep. <laughs> Isn't this part of town where more pretty people hang out in this part yeah, of town? Yeah, uh-huh, because we're here. <laughs> and in a BMW car, have you ever noticed that pretty people drive BMWs? Who knows that? Good googly, moogly there. Oh, pretty good hair day. Well, thank you. Oh, I thought I had a good hair day. Well, oh, I thought you talking about me. No. Let's tell them about my weight loss program. Yes, he's lost a lot of weight. Does that kind of thing. Yes. Is it coming easier or am I earning it? Well, he's earning it. It's not <laughs> easy. Not easy. Gotta go have some shrimp. Don't get short with me. And shrimp. olives. Get it, shrimp. Don't get short. And maybe some kind of chips. You can't have no chips. Sure I can. Strike a pose, Madonna. Strike a pose. Yep or doodle do. Oh, did you bring a mask? Oh, no. I think I have some in here. I didn't bring a mask, a stupid mask. Bad person. She's a bad person. I may have a couple in here. Well, I'm sure they have them for us in there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The masks are so stupid. Coach Vic is a, she's a rebel. She don't want to wear no mask. They won't say anything to you. They think she has a pre-existing condition. Well, you know what it is, is if she breathes, she had to, she'd have to spit straight up in the air to get any of her germs on you. My diaphragm barely works anyway, so I have a mask on, I can't really breathe. You ought to hear her sneeze. Here's Coach Vic's sneeze. <laughs> no. It ain't that loud. Uh -huh. She has no diaphragm. Hi. It was a nice ride. We had a very nice ride. I've gotten used to the cold. I'm, I hate to admit that, but this would have been really bad weather for me but now look I'm ready to pull my sleeves up gotcha. it wasn't bad at all I was like I was I gotcha. in my older age a year ago 
I've gotten um, a lot better with the cold. I don't is know it, why. Is that high blood pressure keeping you warm? Exactly. <laughs> All right, so here we are, fresh market. Now you notice that Coach Vic half wears her mask. I have a mask on. <laughs> your nose is I exposed. Can't, can't breathe. <laughs> gotta breathe all your sweat in. Let's go see if we can find some shrimps. All right, that's the first thing we gotta hit up the olive bar. I love the olive bar. It's one of my favorite things. One of these right here. She is right here. Can you get your fancy olive? I love olive. Can you get some down there with some cheese on it? What? Well, I want some cheese. You are a bad person. And some black olives. Here, let me get some of here. Here, here, here. Gee, why did I think of that? Coach Vic's throwing things on the floor. I dropped my glasses. You want to hold these olives? I'm just kidding. I got them. Oh. Yes, they do. Uh -oh. Shrimp cocktail, Coach Vic? Yeah. Coconut shrimp. She wants to be bad. She wants to eat the bad stuff. I know what you're saying. Shrimp and olives? Oh my goodness, what a great meal. I love it though, I do. I'm not gonna lie to you. I could eat this every day. This place is awesome. And I gotta get us some water. We'll go with the generic brand. Go ahead and eat. So you see how awesome I look pushing all this stuff. Who is that masked woman? <laughs> Whoa, excuse me. So do you want any chocolate? I can't believe she would even tempt me you like that. You like two pieces? Nope. All right, so we had a guy stop us. He was very impressed. It was funny because... Can that see both of us? To move it a little further over for you so you can get more of you than me because no, I'm under. No, all of me. Um, a lot of people will use phrases like you're an inspiration, that sort of stuff, and those phrases mean stuff to us. But we had a guy stop us just encourage. Can you bring that bird in Yes, he was. He thought I was. The cat's pajamas. He thought I was pretty cool, but he thought Bob was cooler as no, always. No, he didn't say that. I know you have a heart, but he's got it really hard dealing with her. <laughs> Putting in <a> napkins. Oh. <laughs> Did that on purpose. She's paying attention. That was delish, delicious. Caesar salad and shrimp cocktail. Now it's time for a cup of coffee. How do you feel about that mask? Oh, I'm stupid. She's an anti-masker. Oh, I hate the mask. She's a troublemaker. There you go. There we go. We're ready to go, Schmo. If we are. What, these? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Everything's all loaded up, so we're good to go. We're going to go through town, right? If that's what you want to do, that's what we'll do. Alright, you ready? Okay, we're back. <laughs> you know, that's always a loud clunk. Uh huh. Well, look at that. I think I've done that before. Yeah, like it. How you doing? All right. Well, we're going to head through town, I think, on the way home. Coach Vic wants to. All right. So we're going to head over to fly over here. You know, for any of the subscribers that ever want to go for a ride in Tallahassee, let us know. We, uh, we definitely always ride a lady that has been contacting Coach Vic on Facebook. I can't recall her name here at the moment. Um, but anyway, we do need to connect up now that it's starting to warm up. Coach Vic and I are getting out a little more often. Make sure Coach Vic's feet are properly placed. And they are. Everything's good there. <laughs> can't forget her feetsies. take these glasses off so I can see this little light there it is two one zero should be a little too much throttle response for me um, now for some of y'all that probably be just right <laughs> but uh, when even you know that was another question that I was asked was 
how is the uh, throttle response with the uh, with the uh, passenger and with the trailer you know it's obviously not what it is without it just like it isn't otherwise without it you know i mean i mean when you put the uh trailer on here even without the pedal commander you lose some of your giddy up but it's not going to accelerate as rapidly but due to that additional weight it just can't just like if i was riding you piggyback i can't run as fast <laughs> All right, well, I'll tell you what, what we're going to do, we're just going to enjoy this beautiful ride here. And what I want you to do also is check that uh, webpage on Bike Week. Look at the weekends. We're thinking about going the last Friday of Bike Week, the last Friday, uh, the, the, the second Friday, second Saturday, or possibly even Thursday, Friday. We'll see how that goes. But we're going to be at the end of that, of that week um the boot where it's a full week i think it starts like on the fifth ends on like the 13th or 14th something like that guys are uh, brake checking somebody up there and uh we'll be there that second weekend that's the goal anyway so we'll let you know as as we get a little bit closer you check the web page coachbob3.com hopefully it'll be up there again we're developing that be sure and go check it Got an ambulance coming. Let me let this guy by. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Got to get, got to get out of their way. Man, I tell you what, we'll let these guys back in too, because they were courteous too. All right. Well, we're going to just hang out here in the traffic, but enjoy the ride. So I want you to do me a favor. Until the next time, go out. Buy the motorcycle your dreams. Eat right. Take care of yourself. And remember, if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. And we're having a ball. We'll talk to you real soon.